Hi fellow Django developers, as a guy here from AlwaysDjango.com where we discuss interesting Django topics that helps you grow, improve as a Django developer. If that sounds interesting, like, subscribe, share this video with anyone you think will find this video interesting. Let's get into it. So the, here will be the first video in our Django, <coughs> Django generic class view playlist Django generic color base view playlist right where we are going in depth on anything about Django generic views we are discussing things like form views templates views list views create view update view detail view delete view etc right we also look into the view generic class the view generic class we also look into the asynchronous view generic class right so for asynchronous code we'll get into that so like always we have an article here on alwaysjango.com here so i'll leave a link to it in the description you can come here check it out read up copy your codes of course we have some codes down here copy your code and you know get more understanding right so first of all we're moving to the slides first of all django generic class views what are they django generic class views are callable classes used to handle repetitive web development functionalities in Django in an easier way. So there are some functionalities in web development as web developers, there are some functionalities that you get to repeat, like functionalities like returning template, right? Functionalities like returning forms in the template, functionalities like listing out model, model entities like model that's data in their database right for challenges like updating those data in the database these are rep repetitive functions right and like all like django django tends to make it easier for developers to get things done quicker faster and easier so that's what generic views are like against the normal like normal django function function request handlers they just taking requests and, res and return response right you taking the request with the request you determine what to do and get data and run processes then return the response with generic views you get to do that easily if you are expecting to return templates you simply use the template the template view if you are expecting to return a form in the view you simply use the form view if you are listing as models in the database you use the list view if you are creating use the so it makes it very easier for us to get these easy functionalities done that's what dango generic class based views are so it said <clears throat> django generic class types of django generic we have already talked about that number one is template view form view list view create view update view details view delete view generic view and a synchronous generic view we will look into all these views right in this playlist so you have to subscribe turn on the notification to stay to stay updated when we release new videos then why do we need them number one reduces code repetitive repetitivity improve the structure of your code dry do not repeat yourself so because generic views are like the like their name like this the name generic the generalize like they make it easier for you to make to do those general activities easier for you right thereby reducing your code the code you need to write because it's like you inhale it from these views you just change methods and properties in those views that you inherited and that's it then improve the structure of your code basically classes are more like structure improving than than functions generally in general programming classes are more you can head it for classes and do what you want to do right so then dry do not repeat yourself it prevents you from repeating nice improving the structure of your code does it so from the next video from the next video we'll probably look into template views then the next one form views list views and so we'll go so uh, like i said already i'll leave a link to this article in the description you can go and check it i again guys just like subscribe it helps with the algorithm it helps us improve it helps encourage me to do more videos so to 
keep posting more articles in this channel guys it helps other developers to get to hear about these to get to see these videos that will make here and always jungle and help all of us grow so it's a win-win it's a win-win kind of thing for all of us you subscribe you you subscribe you like you comment and i'll get encouraged to make videos and thereby helping all of us right helping me grow helping you grow helping you improve helping me improve so that's it for today now for to, for now guys um have a nice day take care of yourself stay safe and that's it peace